high new normal and the low students. Welcome back to Dimsu, where there is wisdom to lead. I also welcome you to our YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're going to have an orientation about your subject, Science, Technology, and Society. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. And of course, it is also important for us to know the philosophy, vision, mission, and goal of DIMSU. Starting with its philosophy, total human development with appropriate competencies. Vision, a globally competitive university. Mission, provides high quality instruction, research, and extension. Goal, to lead in transforming human resources into productive, self-reliant citizens and responsible leaders. Let us move on to the course title and description. For the course title, GECC 105 were also known as Science, Technology, and Society. For the course description, a three-unit course deals with the interaction between science and technology and social, cultural, political, and economic contexts that shape and are shaped by them. This is based from the CMO number 20 series of 2013. This is also an interdisciplinary course engaging students to confront the realities brought about by science and technology in society. Such realities pervade and personal the public and a global aspect of our living and are integral to human development. Scientific knowledge and technological development happen in the context of society with all its socio-political, cultural, economic, and philosophical understanding that it interplays. This course includes mandatory topics on climate change and environmental awareness. And for the content standard, upon completion of the course, the students will be able to do the following. First, we have knowledge, particularly the impacts of science and technology on society, specifically Philippine society. Explain how science and technology affect society and the environment and its role in nation building. Third, analyze the human condition in order to deeply detect and express philosophical ramifications that are meaningful to the students as part of the society. Fourth, define and demonstrate the impact of social media on the student's life and Philippine society in general. And we also offer the values imbibe the importance of science and technology in the preservation of the environment and development of the Filipino nation. Second, we take human flourish vis-a-vis -vis the, pro the progress of science and technology such that the students may be able to define for himself or herself the meaning of good life. Third, foster the values of healthy lifestyle towards the holistic and sustainable development of society and the environment. And for the skills, first, creatively present the importance and contributions of science and technology to society. Second, examine shared concerns that make up the good life in order to come up with innovative and creative solutions to contemporary issues guided by the ethical standards. Third, illustrate how social media and information age impact their lives and their understanding of climate change. And of course, you also have your class schedule for the Bachelor of Arts in English Language. Your schedule will be Monday to Friday, Monday and Friday, that is 2 to 3 p.m. And then on Wednesday, it will be 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock p.m. For the pandemic schedule, it will only be Monday and Wednesday, that is 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock p.m. 
working for the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Technology, Section G, for your regular schedule that will be Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock p.m. And for your pandemic schedule, it will be Monday and Wednesday only, 3 to 4 p.m. So I guess it's clear and of course you have to follow this schedule. And of course, we also have our class meetings. The following activities must be observed. First, on the teacher's activity. During the first meeting, it is intended for giving of module, activity is online, schedule, and important announcement. The second meeting, it is intended for class monitoring and consultation by a Facebook Messenger or in our group chat. And in the third meeting, it is intended to remind you as a student about your activities and missing requirements and of course you might also have online quizzes with the use of the DAPED common and you must remember that you are given at least a week to finish your activities now let's move on to your students activities or your responsibilities for the first meeting you have to pass of your activities and then you have to read your module reading and then we also have module monitoring for the module monitoring it is intended for you to check the things that you do not understand and the things that you want to clarify and for the second meeting it is intended for online participation in class or in class activities that includes debate, recitations, and even asking que questions or even clarifications about the topic. For our third meeting, your responsibility is to still participate during, during the discussions or whether I require you or ask you a question in our group chat. And of course, you have to log in in your DAPED common whenever we have an online quiz and for your online quiz it will be announced earlier or a week before and then we also have your grading system so this is very important for you to know and how you'll be able to compute your grade in midterm as well as in final so for your midterm standing you have class standing grade that is 60% plus now our midterm exam grade that is 40% a total of 100 and then we also have our for our final tentative grade we have our class standing that is again 60% and then for our final exam we have 40% so to compete for your final grade we have now your final tentative grade that is 50% plus our midterm tentative grade which is another 50% so we just have to get the average and then you can have now your final grade and then I also have your course requirement at a specified deadline the student must be able to comply with the following first you have to secure a copy of Science and Technology and Society module that is available to our chairperson or department chairperson. Second is we have to create a Google Mail or Dimsu Mail for online class. And then third, we have to download the Ed Common for online quizzes. Fourth, pass in the modular activities. Fifth, pass on quizzes and oral recitation or in our recitation in our group chat and then we also have to pass our midterm and final examinations and then we have to submit compilation of exercise along with our portfolio and then you have also to comply with our projects
Alright, we also have other requirements for the subject requirements. We have ball pen or pencil, band paper, copy of module, crayon or old pastel, expanded envelope, and then science notebook. For the science notebook, I'm encouraging you to have the larger one or the bigger size notebook. And then of course, for the outcome base project, this will be choral reading group performance. Provide that with, of course, rubrics and investigatory project based outcomes. And now we have the course guide in science and technology. So for midterm, we have two modules. For module one, we have the following topics Introduction to Science and Technology, Historical Antecedents in which Social Consideration Changed the Course of Science and Technology. Intellectual Revolution that Defines Society. And for Module 2, we have Science and Technology and Nation Building. Then we have Human Flourishing. And lastly, we have technolo Technology as a Way of Revealing. And after which, we'll have your midterm exam. And for the finals, you have Module 3. These are the following topics. The Good Life. When Technology and Humanity Cross and Why the Future Doesn't Need Us. Third, the information age. Fourth, biodiversity and healthy society. And lastly, we have biotechnology, specifically genetically modified organism. And then we also have your module four. These are the following topics: the nano world or nanotechnology, gene therapy, climate change, and environmental awareness. And lastly, we have alternative energy resource. And then after that, we'll have your final examination. And of course, we also have our course criteria. I'll be giving it to you in our group chat. And then we have the references. So you may use this as your guide as well. And then we also have electronic sources that can also be found in the internet. Thank you for learning with me today, but please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. See you on my next discussion. Goodbye!